Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to prepare creditors payment schedule. So creditors payment schedule, guys, uh, is more like a, a data collection schedule, the one we were doing on the previous video. But in today's video, I come with the question paper that is going to illustrate with the creditors payment schedule. So please make sure that you stay tuned, watch until the end so that you're going to learn something that you didn't know about the creditors payment schedule. Okay, let's read the question. You are provided with the information of Fantasy Laptop, a business owned by Ray Rini for the budgeted period December to January 2021. Okay, and the business sells various types of laptop computers and does not sell on credit. And they also repair this item for customers at fee. Okay, uh, required 4.1. Refer to information A and B. Number one, complete the creditors payment schedule. That's our main question. And we also gonna touch 4.2, which is related to calculation that are going to be recorded under a cash budget. Okay, let's go to information number A and B. Markup percentage and sales. A markup of 75% on cost is used to set the sales price of the laptop. Okay, and they give us a sales from October up to uh, February. All right. So we were already provided with an answer sheet uh, that looked like this. Okay. Now let's calculate. They said that we need to calculate for only uh, February this month. But we, we can calculate this one as well so that you will be learning how to calculate this schedule okay the first step the first step when you calculate a creditors payment you must calculate a credit purchase like when you prepare data collection schedule you first calculate credit sales here we deal with credit purchase because creditors payment we are paying to our supplier which means that we must use credit purchase so in this case we are given a sales amount but we have a markup that we can convert it to cost of sales cost of sales is the same as total purchase and you don't just put it as total uh, purchase here we are looking for only credit purchase okay let's read number b all stock is bought on credit which means that all stock are on credit which means that 100 percent of it is on credit now let's calculate because we have a markup we can calculate our credit purchase because they said all of them is um, credit which means that no need for us to go and calculate again uh, the percentage of credit purchase because all of them they said are on credit okay for december we're gonna have seven seventy thousand my blah by because we are looking for cost of sales 100 must be on top and we divide by 175 because our markup is 75 okay january uh, we're gonna have 560 my plus by 100 over 175 and for february is 520 5, my plus by 100 over 175 <clears throat> okay let's first get answers here uh, for december it's gonna be 440 thousand and January is gonna be three twenty thousand and for February is gonna be three thirty thousand that's our answers okay you need to make sure that you show this calculation so that you can in max okay now let's check how this payment schedule are made they said number B some creditors offer discount for payment in the months of purchase. Okay. 50%. Okay. Let's read the one that I skip. Stock sold is replaced in the months of sales. Simple means that all stock uh, that they purchase. If we sold them, we replace them immediately. Okay. Then they give us the schedule. 50% is paid in the months of purchase. In the same month. If we purchase December, 50% will be paid in December. And 30% after a month of sales. 
the following month. 20% is settled the second month after the second month or the following month of sales. Okay, we have a 10% discount where there's a 50%. So guys, when you start this uh, schedule, the first step, if you want to simplify it, because they said the same month is 50%, you must look at the same month here. When we said the same month, you must print December, and this side you must also print December. January and January, and you check, they're going to meet here. February and February, they're going to meet here. Just like that, which means that these three, they are going to be 50%. Okay, let's calculate. It's going to be 440,000 multiplied by 50% multiplied by 90%. Why 90? Because we have 10% discount. 100 minus 10, it gives us 90. We get answer. January, uh, it's meet here, 320. Multiply by 100. Okay, apology. My, multiply by 50%. My blah by 90%. It's gonna give us answer. And we go to February. We do the same 380,000. My blah by 50%. My blah by 90%. It's gonna give us answer. Okay. Uh, if you calculate for February, it's gonna give you 135,000. And for January, it's gonna give you 144. Thousand and for December, it's gonna give you 198,000 just like that. All right, now moving to the next one. Remember, they say that 50% same month, then they say that 30% uh, is follow following months. Ne? Then 20% is after following month. Okay. 50% we did it. Which for example was December and December. Now when we go to 30% following month. If we are on December, following month is January. If we are on December, following month is January. If we are on January, following month is February. If we are on February, following month is March. Just like that. Okay. December, January is going to be following month, and we said 440, my blah by 30%, and we get answer. January, following month is February, we're going to say 320, my blah by 30%. Okay, and it's going to give us. 30 my blah thirty percent is gonna give us ninety six thousand. Okay, and this one is gonna give us one thirty two thousand, just like that. Now we are going to twenty percent. Twenty percent is months after the following month. If we are talking about December, following month is January, and after following month is February. Twenty percent is going to apply here. We are going to say 440, multiply by 20%, and it's going to give us 88,000. That's how we deal with creditors' payment schedule. This month is the previous one. January, December is the previous month. That's why you see there's no anything. February, December is the old month, because already February, we are on the following year. Gen February and January January is the previous month that's why we have nothing here so that's how uh, we compile a uh, collection schedule guys very simple very simple and straightforward so please guys for those who want to buy a study guide a soft copy is still available grade 11 and grade 12 and grade 10 make sure that you purchase as soon as possible so that you can get Christian like this one so that you will be able to practice more and more example and train yourself so we're going to do 4.2 which we are going to do some calculation and also guys those who want to join extra class 
online they are still available only 100 rand you attend twice a week and we also provide a lot of examples so that you can train yourself before you write a test make sure that you join as early as possible so that you won't face any challenge when you write uh, your test guys under under is nothing compared to your future so make sure that you join under under per month communicate with your parents so that they can help you to pay okay 4.2 calculate um, the following refer to information c and d calculate increase percentage increase in a uh, uh, in security cost from february and number two percentage commission paid to salesperson during february okay <clears throat> let's start by expected in security cost from february if you check uh, security cost it has increased from 18,000 to 28,000. Now we want to calculate increase. When we calculate the percentage increase, guys, use this formula. New minus old divided by old multiplied by 100. This formula will never give you a wrong answer. Always correct. Okay. A new amount of security was 28,000. 500 the old one minus uh, 18,000 and we divide by 18,000 and we multiply by 100 okay and it's gonna give you fifty eight. it's gonna give you 58 comma percent okay and the next one they want us to calculate for okay let me check commission paid to sales percent percentage change to commission okay if you check commission guys uh... okay they said which month December Okay, commission for December it uh, came from 123 going down to 89,600, which means that our new is 89,600. Obviously, it's gonna give you a decrease, a negative minus 123,200 divided by 123,200 multiplied by 100. It's gonna give you a uh, Six comma three percent of decrease. All right, uh, you need to recalculate uh, this to be hundred, hundred, hundred percent shows. But the the formula is still very correct because I'm using a cell phone to do calculation. Okay, and also, guys, make sure that you first calculate this and get answer then you divide so that uh, because some calculation tasks they will give you different figures okay otherwise let's go to water and electricity budgeted for december okay let's take water and electricity transition they said expected increase from january 2021 is 24 percent there is an ex uh, expected increase from january which is 24 percent uh, let's check water and electricity for December we don't have any amount we are looking for it and January is 18,000 January is 18,600 and we want to go back when we want to go back we are looking for 100% and what we have is after increase of 124 100 plus 24 and it's gonna give you an answer Okay, I'm going to calculate this after the loan. Okay, now let's go to loan. The loan amount, they say that... Uh, let me check, let me check question again. The loan repayment to be made on December. We are looking for loan repayment. Okay, a loan repayment, they say, the loan from Delta Bank 
bear interest of 12.5% per year and interest is not capitalized and fixed loan repayment is made. A fixed loan it does not change in other words. Okay, if you check, we have only one option to calculate this uh, repayment. We have an uh, interest on loan. Uh, December it was 9,000 and January it was 8,000. The interest decreased because of what? Of repayment. The first step, we must calculate the different. 9,375 minus 8,125 is going to give us the different of that uh, loan, uh, this, this interest. Let's calculate 9,375 minus 8,125. The interest gave us 125.50 and now we are looking for this capital amount. We must say 100 divided by 12,5 of interest. Then it's going to give us 10,000. The loan repayment that was made, it was 10,000. And this one, uh, let me calculate 8,600 multiplied by 100 over 124. Then it's 15,000 this side. This is water and electricity. This one is loan repayment. I hope you learn something, guys, and you enjoy. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make so that you do so, so that uh, by the end of this month or by the end of this year, guys, we must be able to reach at least 20,000 uh, subscribers. We're going to keep uploading more and more and more videos so that you will prepare yourself to write a test and examination. See you on the next one.